one of the worst things about owning a Dragon computer is the selection of shitty joysticks that are available for it. Um, these are the official Dragon sticks. There is a different type of Dragon stick, but I don't have one of those. Um, but yeah, these are analog sticks, non self centering, and quite frankly, they're pretty terrible. Um, they work alright. Uh, the fire button in this one doesn't actually work unless you hammer it really hard. And I cannot figure out how to get this thing open. There's no screws under the feet here, and there's absolutely no give, so I think it's glued. So I will have been able to get this one open to fix that uh, or clean the switch in there. But the throw on this is absolutely ridiculous. It's It can be handy, you know, sometimes if you're playing a game that requires an analogue control, these can, you know, work quite well. But the majority of the games work really well, you know, with the digital input as well. This is my go-to joystick for the Dragon. Um, but unfortunately, uh, a spring has broken it. So this was a self-centering joystick. It still self-centers top and bottom, but left and right, the spring has broken it. And uh, yeah, it still works, but it just feels weird now that it doesn't self-center in one direction. And I also have this thing as well. This does work all right, but again, it's just weird. <laughs> so, uh, back in the day, there was a, a peripheral released called the Dragon's Claw, which allowed you to use BBC stuff on the Dragon. Uh, I don't know an awful lot about the Dragon's Claw, thing but uh, as far as I know incorporated into it was the ability to use digital sticks. I do actually have a similar thing for my BBC. It converts the analogue signal into digital. So I found a tutorial online on how to make a converter for the Dragon. You convert the analogue signal to digital. And I bought the parts to make it a year ago, maybe longer than that, and I only just got round to making it. So here it is. Um, obviously, I haven't put this inside a project box yet. Um, this is not pretty to look at, but it works, so I'm happy. So it just has a single chip on it. A uh, little chip in the middle there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resistors. All the resistors are the same. They're all uh, 100, 100 kilo ohms, hundred k ohms, I think they are. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, just a bit of dodgy soldering underneath there. Uh, not the prettiest, but it does work had to bridge a few things together and all that's why some of the solder blobs are huge so yeah this basically takes the din plug analog signal and converts it to a standard atari style joystick so this only works for one joystick and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to build another one of these and i'm going to put them both into the same project box um so that I can just plug both joysticks in, I don't have to fart about with it. Because some games require the left joystick, some games require the right joystick. Uh, yeah, it uh, can be a nightmare. You just plug that in the side of the dragon there. Now, I did try this with uh, a Mega Drive controller. And using a standard Mega Drive controller doesn't work at all. Um, you know, everybody knows there's a, a chip inside the Mega Drive controller, so it obviously doesn't work with this. But like a standard Atari style joystick works. So I've been using my homemade arcade stick, 
which I use with all the rest of my old game, game consoles and computers. And this is pretty much just rigged like a standard Atari joystick. Should just plug that under that. And we're good to go. So I'll show you a bit of a demo of it on in action here. So it's absolutely wonderful to play these games with a decent joystick. Um, really, it's the first time you know I've been able to play these games with a digital joystick. <laughs> it doesn't mean them any better, at them. <laughs> <coughs> this game was notoriously difficult anyway. It's uh, called The King. Uh, obviously it's a Donkey Kong clone. And it's a very good Donkey Kong clone at that. So there's a guy on eBay at the minute selling uh, the nice made uh, joystick converters. Uh, you know, they're on a proper made printed PCB and it works with two joysticks. But he's looking 40, I think 40 quid or 42 quid for them. And in my opinion, it's too expensive for what it is. Um, now, don't get me wrong, it's a nice product, um, but yeah, it's a lot of money to shell out just for a joystick converter. So, what it cost me to make this joystick converter is, you know, pence really. Uh, I can't remember how much the chips were. Um, there's a link in the description down below of the tutorial I used. For this so yeah the the chip you know bought bought two chips like i said i bought them a year ago so i don't really remember how much they were they weren't expensive a pound or two and you know for a hundred resistors it's like a pound and a bit of euro board i did have to buy the connectors the atari stand connector and the one that fits into the dragon um but you know all told, it was probably two or three quid to build this thing, and it worked perfectly. It just took me about a bit of time soldering it together, really. So, like I said, there's a link uh, down below to the tutorial. It's just a web page. Shows you a, a schematic, schematic, and uh, you know how to wire it up and what parts you need. So, if you're interested in making one of these check out the link in the description below that's really it for now um, just wanted to show you this thing I might do a follow up video once um, like I said I'm going to make another one of these and put them both into a project box so that I have a little box with the two Atari joystick controllers on it I can just plug you know if I need to switch a joystick for a different game it's just a matter of switching this in the box you don't have to mess about the side of the dragon. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.